Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching a Patreon request and today it is Fried Green Tomatoes. This movie is from 1991. The very first thing that I see is Kathy Bates. What's that her name? You know, the actress of Annie Wilkes. You know, Misery, Stephen King. Misery is one of my favorite books of all time because of how creepy it is with the few amounts of characters there is in a book and I do have a whole reaction to watching the movie for the very first time if you want to watch that. I haven't seen a Kathy Bates movie ever since and that is the only one that I've seen so I'm very excited to see her in this movie. This is supposed to be a drama comedy. We barely watch any comedy on my channel so I am really looking forward to just relax, buckle up, have a good laugh and just enjoy myself. Thank you so much for being here guys. If you want to watch my full reaction it is over on Patreon. Same with all of the polls for future reactions as well. All my social media they are linked down below. Same with my anime reaction channel. I would highly appreciate you being over there too. And yeah let's get into fried green tomatoes. I hope for the love that this is going to be a wholesome movie. Fun, wholesome movie. Oh, it was Kathy Bates. It was, it was. Mary Stewart. <gasps> wow. Mary Louise Parker. Oh, and Jessica Landy. Did you say Jessica Landy? I did call her Landy. Oh, Kathy. One more thing that I noticed after I watched Misery was that Kathy Bates also plays Dolores Claiborne, which is one of my most anticipated reads ever. I'm trying to get my hands on a very nice copy of the Stephen King book, but I haven't found the one I want yet. Oh. Did you hear that? That was weird. What? Train. No, I didn't hear no train. Ah, oh, nothing, I guess. Why do you sound so sweet? It's weird. Why did you tell me to turn right ten miles back? God, you got a negative sense of direction, huh? Oh, Ed, your aunt's gonna be so disappointed we're late. <laughs> hey, how's my sweet Annie B? Hey. Get that already look at you. Hey. Well, if you think it's best. So she does not remember, no. Wonderful. No, I didn't. That's where they keep them. When I was in the hospice upon Mrs. Cleo Threat, imagine that. <laughs> She's sweet. Did you ever have one of them fleet animals? You'd remember it. Me and my friend Mrs. Otis come from Whistlestop. Oh, yes, I just passed by there today. She's lived down the street from me for all. Oh, Mrs. Otis don't know it, but I'm going back home just soon she gets settled in good. Did the name Itchy Threat good ring a bell? Oh, um, no, ma'am. I don't think I'm married to brother Cleo. Oh, uh, Itchy and her friend Ruth. <laughs> this poor girl, she's just trying to eat. Itchy was a character. How anybody could have thought she murdered that man is beyond. Well, you sit and relax a while. I'll tell you all about it. I remember the day they pulled that truck up out of the river. Itchy Threadwood was arrested for the murder of the old Frank Bennett. I guess to understand Itchy, you'd have to start back with her brother. So this is basically just a murder story. <gasps> I remember the day we was all getting ready for Leona's wedding. The this is going to be murder mystery. And another one was about to begin in the Threadgood house. Oh, buddy, buddy, get dressed, honey. Mama. She says she won't come out just as long as she lives. As long as she is going to ruin my wedding. Well, of course she is, Papa. Oh, you. oh you look so pretty. Uh oh. I see London. I see. Hush, Julian. Hush. Are you okay, Julian? She looks like a monkey. Julian. Anyway. Let me tell you about the oysters. Oysters? Think about all the millions of oysters just lying around the bottom of the ocean to make a beautiful pearl. How come? Well, the way I figure it, 
He never makes mistakes. Sure, you got the best looking, most charming brother in the world. <laughs> got you out of the tree now, didn't I? Before today, Lily. I had the biggest crush on him. <laughs> the one I've been looking for. Let's go visit someplace else. And then she lost her head. I got it. Hold on, Ruth. Hold on a little bit. It's all right. I got it. I'm scared. Got it. Oh, oh I meant to do that. Did he actually get hit? It seemed like it went. What? But it seemed like. Over a stupid hat. Imagine that. But nearly one took it as hard as Itchy. Everyone thought she'd die right along with them. Uh, would you like one of these? Oh, thank you, honey. Yep. She's so cute. The Braves game is fixing to start. And you're oh, well, I enjoy talking to you, honey. Um, Evelyn, Evelyn Couch. You come back and see me, you hear? That would be wonderful. I'd love to visit. Well, come back tomorrow. I want you. Do we really pay for these lectures? So you can you to What is she seeing? Is she going far and beyond? Wow! Evelyn, are you going insane? Oh God, people can see you. What are you thinking about? She wanted to make it special. You know what we really need instead of this baloney? But that's a contradiction in terms. Especially you, sweetheart. You're living in the dark ages. <laughs> Do you think she's actually going to try? She's so cute. What are you doing? We're supposed to eat together. Oh, that will make me so upset, especially if it wasn't planned. I'm sorry, honey. The game's almost over. I just want to see a little bit of it. Why are you so dressed up? Make it special. No, honey. I'll probably be checking you into a loony bin. Oh! Hi, sugar. Have my little dumpling. <laughs> you are meaner than a damn. Get back in bed, honey. Good thing your eyesight's failing. Oh my gosh. Story time! Hey! Mm. Hey! I was hoping you'd be here. <laughs> I think I might have my own visit. Here you are. You are so cute. Good. How's your friend? Looks like I won't be getting home for quite a while, and I sure miss it. Funny what you miss when you're away from home. I miss the smell of corn, bacon, mm. fried. What I wouldn't give for a plate of fried green tomatoes like we used to have at the cafe. So we're getting to know why the movie's called what it is. Now let me back up a bit. Itchy never quite got over losing Buddy. She hardly ever come home. Only Big George knew how to find her. And then one summer day, her mama sent for her. Yeah, that was also and the she day was day hunting. Day. Frank Bennett, the man whose murder got her arrested. Tawanda to you. Oh, uh, Frank Bennett's the name, Miss uh, Tawanda. You a politician or this lion just running your family? Oh, I like her. <laughs> well, there you are. It's about time, Edgy. <laughs> you don't look like the wild man of Borneo. Well, thank you. <laughs> She's staying with us this summer and will be in charge of all the young people's activities at the church. You remember my youngest child? Well, of course I do. Hi, Edgy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Oh, we've got to, somebody's got to help her. I can't. These ain't no church going folks, you know. I'll do just fine, George. Thank you. Is um, Edgy Thread good here by any chance? Well, come on in, honey. She's right down here. Oh, so this is where she's hanging out. I'll see you, Grady Kilgore, and I'll raise you. Put your money where your mouth is, Mr. Shane. Well, look what the cat drove you. Get a call. You win, sucker. <laughs> I leave here when I want to. I so close yet so far. So worried about you thought I might be able to try to talk some sense, but you're too busy being silly. What are you talking about? We all miss him, but... Turning your back on your family is not going to help. Looks like you're the one with the problem forgetting my brother. The thing is not about forgetting him. Ten miles away, 
down by the river, there lurks a man of the devil. How are we gonna fix this? Snakes and serpents. Hey, Scroggy! <laughs> As I said, let's turn to page 53 in our hymnal. Oh boy. Big Joe's thought I might find you here. I love the way they're talking. Like, the accent is so nice. You sure you don't want to back out now? It's not too late. I'm sure. Here, hold, hold it. What is she planning? Oh, are we stealing? Give me a hand to put your foot up there. Oh. Hold it. <laughs> Great, where are we going? No, fun to start. You alright? Mm-mm. Well, sometimes I get a little dizzy looking down. What are you doing? Come on, look. Oh, my She's Robin Hood. I've seen those same people over at church on the Sunday. Isn't that what he did? Steal from the rich and give to the poor? This is what you do. That was so nice though. Jump. Yeah, jump. The next stop, five miles down the track. Are you crazy? Well. <laughs> I give up. I'll tell Mama I'm not a good influence on you. You'll never jump, will you? Don't say never to me. Oh. <coughs> oh, she. Well, that went well. You all right? I'm fine. Oh no, she hurt her ankle. Does this hurt? <gasps> she really hurt her ankle. Yeah. Better get you to a dock. About two miles. Let's go. So stay on. You'll never be able to carry me that far. Might as well try. I'm not carrying you. You're walking. Oh, okay. It's back up. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. I... oh. You like honey? Yeah, I like honey. See, now they're bonding. This is so lovely. Stay here. No matter what happens, don't move. What are you gonna do? She's not scared of getting stung? What if there's a wasp there? Yeah, same. Like, bees are cute, but I'm terrified of wasps. Oh, my damn, this is for you. Why did he do that? He could have been killed. God, just for you. It's all right. I do it all the time. I never get stung. Honest. Okay. Oh, I'm not mad at you. No fooling. She's so cute. I like her. Is it bad what I did? I thought it might be crazy or something. No, I've heard there were people who could charm bees. That's what you are. A bee charmer. The bee charmer. Hey, you want to taste it? Surprise! Now we're gonna have a real party. Drink this, and then we're gonna play some poker. Well, thank you anyway. Oh my God. Seems like she's gonna learn quite a few things today. Right now, here comes the wind up. Right in the pocket, right in the pocket. Come on, Rosie. I don't know how to bat. Learning another thing. She gonna spit at me! Oh, she gonna spit on the ball. Bring that fat. Bring that fat. Oh, that's all. Take another. Get him in here. Get him in here. Get him in. Come on. Oh, there we go. To run, you know? You know poker isn't half bad. <laughs> you gotta stop worrying about what people think. You took care of your daddy, the preacher, when he said, take care of all the kids over to church school. <laughs> I know, and I'm gonna marry the man. I'm so you getting married as soon as the sun was over. <laughs> I think maybe she liked her. This is the best I ever had. See, 
And now she's thinking about it. I told you. She might be having feelings for Ruth. Ruth invited Itchy to the wedding. But Itchy never did write that. And then she swore she'd never see Ruth again. What? We will be learning to reclaim our own power as women. Explore our own, the source of our strength and our separation. Miss Couch. Uh, well... Um, I do have a problem with my girdle. <laughs> Aww. Do you guys think that he will eat dinner with us tonight? Or this afternoon, I mean. Hi, oh, baby. All right, fried chicken. We need to get a new husband. Those classes I've been taking forever aren't helping us one bit. Like when we got married. Why are you trying to fix yourself when Ed is not interested at all? Well, honey, it's just the two of us here now. Oh, yeah, on the TV. Look at you, dressed for the holidays. Is thread good? Hey, I've been... You changed her hair. <laughs> Good, she came to visit her. Oh, thank you. you brought her gifts. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is the best holiday ever. Oh, well, now let me see. Uh, where were we? Uh, How you guys ever spend time at an elder home, even though you don't work there or have any murder? relatives there? That's right. It's such a old, like, it's an incredible time. You need to try it. Hanging out with Grady and the boys at the River Club. That's when the trouble began. Oh, she cut her hair. Uh, is Ruth at home? You just tell her to the bee charmer from Alabama. There's some bee person here to see. <laughs> There's some bee person out here. I'm really liking this movie. It's so wholesome. Got a real nice home. Real nice things and all. Uh, Mama said to give you this pie. It's a thread cut. How are you? You didn't come to the wedding. Grown up. He's beating her. <laughs> The guys must be wild about Look at her eye. Grady's the most persistent. Grady kill guard. Don't say it so loud. Ruth, honey, who's down there? Did he hit you? Somebody's no. got to talk to him. Somebody's got to stand up to him. I'm going to kill it. Save me. If you care about me, if you really do, you understand? No. You need to get out of there. Cases like these can get really bad. Grady, hi. Did you, will you dance with me? No. Miss Iggy Threadgood, will you dance with me? I will not dance with you. And I will not marry you. Did fall on my head when she was just a child. <sighs> that is so weird to say. Call the goose. Now, now, you stop that before I get mad and I hurt you. Great, he finally got dizzy and give up. None of them fellas at Evis River Club could tame Iggy. A little while later, a letter come from Ruth. <gasps> Look at her outfit, so elegant. It's an obituary. Oh, no, honey. Ruth's mother died. And this is from the Bible. It's from the book of Ruth. Where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. Are we moving in? Uh, Julian, you and Big George wait out here for a minute. What's happened to the home? Mama died. And I'm pregnant. Hey, Julian, I got another box. Why don't we put three in one box? I don't think we can fit all these in the car. Uh-oh. What the hell is going on here? Looks like your wife's leaving you, mister. Oh, uh, sure she is. Let go! Oh. Yeah, do it. Beat his ass. Oh. 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 I wouldn't do that if I was you, mister. The thing is, you might upset Big George. There's no telling what he might do. Put her down, nice and slow, gently. Oh, what a psycho! Go on, get out of here. Yeah. Hey, come on now, come on here. Get out of here. Come on, Miss Ruth. Come on. If you ever touch her again, I'll kill you. Oh, awful, awful man. Wanda! The amazing Amazon woman! Wanda? 
Ever. Tell these body parts to aliens? We'll be talking about masturbation. I don't think so. I think I had enough learning. Do you guys look at the cashier? She looked a little scared. There was no reason for you to be so rude to me back there. Back cow. What did you call me? What did I ever do to you? I don't understand. Oh, trust. There's a lot of people like this out there, honey. You're going through the chain. I used to burst into tears for no reason at all. Maybe some of them stressed to have some before for good measure. Sure, honey. And then you get out of the house and get a job. Yeah, listen to her. I know how you feel. I was about your age when I had my child. No, you had a child? Oh, yes, I did. When he was born, the doctor said it would be best if I didn't see him at all. The burden of raising a child like that would be too great. I thought about Ruth. She always said there was a separate God for children. How could anybody think that sweet, precious baby could ever be a burden? The Lord's greatest gift. I don't believe there was a purer soul ever lived on this earth. And then he went to sleep, didn't wake up. Sometimes I can't wait to get to heaven to see him again. Buddy Julian, the Whistle Stop Cafe. Oh, how wonderful. Come on. Oh no, he's stuck. No, oh, I got kind of motion sick by the camera here. There's the cafe. Would you like some more pie, Grady? No, thank you, Ruth. You just keep them on out back there, you hear? <laughs> She's not kidding. I'm sorry about spilling my food in there, ma'am. Uh, I'll just head on. You see that piece of land over there? That used to be a lake. And then this one November, all these ducks come by. Oh, and she's telling the story that Buddy said. The ducks took off and took the lake with them. Now that lake's somewhere over in Georgia. Stop! <laughs> that was so nice. God bless you, man. They're terrible. Oh. Oh. And you can't say they're okay. Well, don't be shy. Tell me how you feel. I will. What you gonna do that for? You all right? Oh no, there's gonna be food wars here. Uh-oh. He's not happy. He's trying to teach me how to cook. That was so funny. You better stop this. I'm gonna have to arrest you for disorderly conduct. Oh, I'll arrest. Don't do anything to him. Psycho man. I knew it! I knew it! So I said, Is she talking about what I think she's talking about? Yep. What do you want? Frank. Get out of here! Come on, get out of here, Lee. You wouldn't deny a father the right to see his own son. Yeah, I would. And I bet she would too. Don't do anything stupid. Our guest is just leaving. Come on, Frank. Let's go. I'll be back. Yeah, sadly, I know he will. I scared you. No, sir. You should be. Grady, what does Gladys think of you staying out late? She likes it just fine. People are so stupid. I don't know. Let's let him go, boys. Don't they understand how stupid they sound? This is crazy. No, this is you will get in trouble. Yeah, I think she is going to end up in trouble. Yeah. That's more like. Is this so difficult for people to just treat each other like human beings? It's crazy. From the whole town. 
Oh, get out of here. And I thought this was going to be a wholesome story. I'm so tired. This is not wholesome at all. This is actually very depressing. The show has hardly begun. Where's the baby? Never mind. I don't believe you should be going anywhere. <clears throat> Nothing that we know of. We're trying to find out what's been did to him. Hell, I told him if he showed up in this town, we'd all have known. Looks a little sissified to me. That's the way I heard it. Could I interest you in some pie? I think she understood right away. Best damn barbecue in the state of Alabama. Yeah. You ain't fooling me, girly girl. I heard from Bennett's hired hand that you threatened to kill Frank Bennett. But if he does, you in a whole mess of trouble. You understand? Okay, there is a difference between threatening and actually doing it. He did it first, didn't he? He threatened her too. To have his head, I'll arrest you fast and you can slap a tick because I'm the law and you can't beat the law. Oh, here we go again with power. You sure you ain't never seen this man, boy? Yes, sir. I already told you. Oh, we have seen him. Would you kill for? Did you kill for? No, sir. Well, now, maybe one of these days you tell the truth. Just remember, we hang lying niggas in Georgia just as fast as they do in Alabama. Yes, sir. I remember. <laughs> Thank goodness that times have changed. But really, some people have not. This story is so heavy, guys. It's actually very upsetting. What are you doing in here? No milk in the house. Care of business, having a good time. I've been thinking maybe I should move on because of Frank and all. I don't want you to feel like you have to look out for us. I just... I think she likes looking out for you. Why can't you tell me where you were? The other night, I dreamt that Buddy was gone. And you know, I thank God for letting me still have Buddy, praying for me to kill her. I looked in my mother's eyes, pleading for me to help her. If that bastard Frank Bennett ever tries to take my child, I won't pray. Ooh. I'll break his neck. Ruth, you don't have to worry about Frank Bennett anymore. I'm only going to tell you this one time. Frank Bennett won't be bothering you no more. You understand? Because he's gone. You killed him. No. It wasn't her. You don't believe me. Believe me when I tell you I don't want you to move out. Yeah, we can be a better dad than Frank was. Or, we never really saw him as a dad, but you know how he was to his wife, you know? Thanks. Been out here all day. Oh, she's gonna be slow and someone's gonna yoink it now. Oh, someone's gonna come from that side. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I was waiting for that space. Yeah? Tough. Face it, lady. We're younger and faster. Oh, people. Don't do anything stupid. To one. How are we gonna fix her? Face it, girls. I'm older and I have more insurance. <laughs> that is crazy. Happy Valentine's. God, are you trying to kill me? This is actually very good. Stop in the name of love. Blanket over, over, blanket over. I'm worried about my little friend Evelyn, and she has an urge to hit him in the head with a pen. Oh hell, that seems normal to me. <laughs> What? Oh, thank you, Evelyn, but this raw stuff don't sit good with me. You have to tell me something. Did Iggy murder Frank Bennett or not? You didn't kill Ed now, did you? Not yet. Oh. Yet? What? Five years have passed since Frank Bennett disappeared. I remember the day when he showed up again. You're the spitting enemy the room. Aww. Well, sir, Smokey Low. Curtis Smoke was making one of his visits to Whistle Stop, Alabama. A wrap of evidence about Frank Bennett's whereabouts. Thank you. Alright. It's happening again, no? Buddy. Open the door. Put him in. Yeah, put him in the back. Hit him in the car. It's all right, honey. Wow. Two buddies hit by a train. Oh. <gasps> And he died too? Two buddies died by a train. Oh my god. Oh, herregud. 
I, I, also, I, I sort of was. Far. I just don't know why she insists on calling him stump. We might as well be the first. You guys got me fooled. Okay, ice cream and cakes for everybody in the cafe. My daddy always used to say there was a separate God for children. The good Lord was watching over Stump that day. And it rained and it rained and it flooded parts of Whistlestop. And I just knew Idiot never get out of this mess. Give me a bread Let me see your face. Did you have to come? laughing. Excuse us, Ruth. Now I'm nervous again. Oh. What's your hurry? And what is so important? Somebody found Frank Bennett's truck in the river. What's that got to do with me? Well, officially, you and Big George are under arrest for murder. I'm supposed to take you over to Georgia first thing in the morning. But how over finding a car? Is that enough evidence? Well, some people have been known to pack up and sneak out of town in the middle of the night. What about Big George? Well, the way I figured, they'd be satisfied if they had him. You're talking murder of a white man. Someone's going to have to pay. Nobody wants to hang a woman. Now, A.G., I know how you feel about Big George. Hell, we all do. But these just the facts of life. No deal. I don't support this. Because you are absolutely, unconditionally, positively the most stubborn person I've ever known in my life. So, Itchy and Big George went to the county jail in Valdosta. They didn't have to wait too long. Did you know Frank Bennett? You mean to tell me you never met the man who is your business partner? That's right. That's a lie. Okay, why are we lying? The same Frank Bennett you did not know. Oh, that was me, all right. <laughs> I threatened to kill him, but we were never what you might say properly introduced. How much later? A usual. No. And when her husband came back to get her and take her home, you and your colored man murdered him. So this is how they do it. They just make their own story. Although one witness is dead and the other is a colored man, no. Expect these men to take your word for it. That's right, you gum-faced, blown-up, baboon-ass bastard. One more outburst like that and I'll hold you in contempt of court. You understand? Lord. Have mercy. And yet, you tell us over and over. Yes, I wouldn't raise my child with Frank Bennett. Why? Did He's the... Beat him. <gasps> Come on, just say it. No. He beat you. Oh. Say it. No. No. Why would a respectable Christian woman whose reputation is known for you? Why did you leave? Just say it. That day. He pushed you down the stairs. He kicked you even. Because she she's the best friend I ever had. And I love her. Thank you, Miss Bennett. That would be all. The defense calls as its last. What? I can make her lose the case. I brought my own, if you don't mind. Because imagine if she didn't do it. To tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, I do. People are lying all the time when they do that. I don't know what the, the entire thing was promising. On the night of September the 30th, 1933, Bill, it has been suggested here that she and a colored man were at her mother's house. Along with her hired man, George Pullman, who was in charge of the barber, just as he has been ever. Murder day. could have taken place any time in the next couple of days. Have you ever been one of our revivals, sir? Well, no. of course I do. Approach the bench. In the first place, there's no body. Second, we got us a preacher nobody's going to dispute. I say Frank Bennett got himself drunk, drove into the river, and was long ago eaten. What we got us here is a case of accidental death. Case dismissed. There we go. Oh, thank you, guys. Not taking our good George. But I really want to know who did it. Reverend. She knows who did it, but she's saying that it wasn't her because she didn't want to lie to Ruth. If that judge had looked any closer, he'd have seen it was really a copy of Moby Dick. Well, I'm sure Joe have seen you in church again, which I suggested to him might be okay. Do you think if she said that he was beating her, that would give them more of a reason to do something? If I live a thousand years, I will never forgive you for this. Maybe she's so clever about that. Tawanda! Oh, Evelyn. Oh, Kathy Bates with a sledgehammer. Take care of your ankles. There's no dinner either. I've been trying to save our marriage. What the challenge of the gladiators! I'm so scared. I'm Sue. 
Mrs. Otis is oh, much better. Thank you. Used to a strange place. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I know Miss Thread did. Damn. Well, it had to. It was falling apart, and it was condemned. Does she know that? I am so glad I got a chance to meet you. You take care of yourself now. Bye-bye. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, do you like my roses? <laughs> She's so adorable. To look at my own roses, I made myself a paper garden. That is so lovely. You been here long? Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have woken you Visitors up. Visitors say, honey, I look forward to them all week. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> They're delicious. It's your recipe. Are they cold? No, they're just the way we used to have them at the Whistle Shop Cafe. <laughs> downstairs so she'd be more comfortable. Sipsy moved in with her and never left her side. Itchy just prayed for a miracle. She did that to me once too, but I think I did cry. Mama, I'm sorry if you're sad. Sweet baby. You too, Uh, I don't do good with this anymore. Find someone who can beat you in the poker. <laughs> There's so many things I want to say to you. I love your stories. Tell me a story. Go on your beach, Emma. Tell me a good tall tale. Tell me the one about the lake. Mm, ducks. What lake? They used to be here. Well, that was just a lie. I know that, Phil. Tell me anyway. One time, there was this lake, and uh, it was right outside of town, and we used to go fishing and uh, swimming and canoeing in it. See, one November, this big flight of ducks came in and landed on that lake, and then the temperature dropped so fast that the lake just froze right there. And oh, it happened now. Flew off, you see, and they took that lake with them. <laughs> now they say that lake is somewhere <laughs> over in Georgia. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know the story about covering mirrors when someone passes away? So your souls don't get trapped in the mirror. I think on our departed sister, Ruth Jameson. See how strong Ruth affected everyone, even smoky lonesome women. He died a few years back. He had one possession on him. He was in love with her from the first time he saw her. And she kept her promise. I shouldn't have told you this. I hate this. It scares me so. Oh, same here. Look at me. I'm at the jumping off place and I ain't afraid one bit. Ruth and Itchy were brave, not me. I'd be more afraid of driving in rush hour traffic. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought her flowers. But Wanda. Someone helped put a mirror up in front of my face. And I didn't like what I saw one bit. And that someone was Mrs. Threadgood. She needs my love and, and I'm going to give it to her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the gym. And if you won't listen to reason, there's always to Wanda. That's what I said. Oh my gosh, she just lost it. <laughs> Mrs. Threadgood, the woman who lives here, are you deaf? All they told me was that the woman who lived in... This morning. Well, she died early this morning. They were short-handed, so they asked me to take all this stuff down, that's all. Not careful at all, whatsoever. Stop it! What is the matter with these people? Oh, do you have no respect? These are her things! She's just another patient to you, but she was my friend! In a yellow cab about a half hour ago. Well, yeah, she said there wasn't no reason for her to stay now that Miss Otis had died. Otis is dead? But I thought you said that she didn't have a home. But Miss Otis died! Miss Otis! Oh, God, I've got to stop her. She doesn't have a home. What? Is this when we notice that she's actually... Hey, Evelyn, somebody stole my house. Was here when I left. 
No, honey, you're not crazy. They had to tear it down. <laughs> Somebody should have told. I'm old. I'm, I'm not a child. It's gone. 83 years worth of living. And all that's left the first time I can remember when I don't have a soul to look after. You're sweet, but... And that Mary Kay's having such a good year. Well, with a little help from E.G. and Ruth. That Mrs. Otis was Sipsy's baby sister. Mrs. Otis was with Sipsy and me. Frank Bennett disappeared. Okay, so we get to know now. Oh, about time. I was wondering if this is going to be like an open case at the end of the movie. Imagine if it was just a heart attack because of all the anger it has. Was it him all along? Damn, you a thick-headed son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> I told you you ain't going nowhere with Miss Ruth's baby. Come on, Angel. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. It's all right. It was self-defense. Well, that's a hard knock and test. Oh, uh, excuse me here. My mama. Oh, Mr. Smokey here. No offense taken. Good, good. My son's almost up. Wow. I think it's hog boiling time. It ain't cold. It's hog boiling time. What does that even mean? Smells so damn good, I just can't wait to get me some. <laughs> Don't tell me that's him. Here you go. Miss E.G. Well, this is about the best barbecue I ever ate. Are you eating him? Oh. Her face is saying yes. Oh my god. BQ Frank Bennett? Secrets in the sauce, so, so I've been told. <laughs> George, anyone else? Have... To this day, I'm still not sure whether Ruth ever... About what the most important thing in life is. Best friend. <laughs> Look. Aww. She's still out and about. I think I catch a glimpse of her. Come on, say it. Maybe we'll see her today. Let's go. It was going to be some twist that she's itchy and she's been telling the story all along, you know? After Ruth died and the railroad stopped running, it was never more than just a little knockabout place. But now that I look back on it, it's funny how a little place like this brought so many people together. Yeah. Okay, so I love this movie and obviously I had to do a little bit of research right after. I have already been texting my friends saying like this is such a wonderful movie and uh, right now I think that two of them are already watching. Fried Green Tomatoes, what I've learned about it so far. This is actually from a book guys. This is an actual book which I just need to get my hands on because you know, oh, it doesn't matter if I move the chairs blocking it. but. I do read a lot of books and I am loving it. The fun thing here, now speaking about books and speaking about Kathy Bates, I'm currently reading Salem's Lot, which is by Stephen King. I'm a Stephen King enjoyer. Love his work so much. I'm currently only 50 pages in, but I've heard that the movie's not that good. But I'm at least reading the book and I'm excited to get more into it. It's very good so far. Speaking about books, I really want to get my hands on this book here because, you know, getting to know more about this storyline. It says all over Reddit. I love Reddit. If you just write the name of a movie that you watched on Reddit, you can see so many cool theories and thoughts by a whole community. And people are saying that in the movie, it's a little bit more difficult knowing if Mrs. Threadgood is AG or not. But in the book, it's much easier to get to know who Cleo Threadgood was, which was Nene's husband. So she was indeed, as she said, the sister-in-law of Iggy. And Cleo was one of the brothers. So there are three brothers. We never got to know Cleo's character, but we got to know Julian a bit in the very beginning. And we got to know Buddy. I think they made the ending with... Nene just smiling, kind of 
I'm also kind of wicked, smiling like that towards Evelyn to make us, the viewers, think about that she could perhaps be Iggy. But actually in the book, they are going more in depth that she actually was not. And they have more of a storyline between the brothers and Cleo, getting to know him, getting to know Nini more personally and the storyline like that, which I would love to know. And it just, I'm, I'm bored. I need to get the book. Oh, one thing that also went completely over my head. I never thought about that Nini said in the beginning that she had a crush on Buddy. And Ichi could not have a crush on her own brother. Because that would be incest. But then again, this is the older times. No, we're not thinking like that, guys. I know. I really like that there was this twist that made us think in the ending. Could Nini actually be Ichi? Meanwhile, in the book, it's more clear that it was not. Because right now, I was just sitting and doing research. I was like, I need to know more. Very, very clever. This is amazing written. Very well made. And I really did appreciate this storyline. So to the person that did request this on Patreon, you truly know what kind of movies that I enjoy. This was amazing. Again, thank you so much. You know who you are. These movies are so down to earth yet so devastating and very difficult to bear sometimes but at the same time i feel like i learn a lot i'm able to connect with the characters i'm even able to connect with myself feel the feelings that i feel and also see that other characters that seem like really real life people do react in the same way that i do it's kind of comforting does that make sense Anyways, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. My full reaction is over on Patreon and all my social media. They are linked down below. Thank you so much for hanging out, being all cozy tonight. And I can't wait to see you in my next video very soon. Bye, everyone. Put your head on my